Why do we always have to accept the Kimbundu, Umundu, Ngangela, Fiote, other languages, but you can't accept Kikong? I always call names, Langa, you're not really comfortable in your own country. It's lack of education because if you're really Angolan and you went to school, then you know that there's going to be people that do not look like you, there's going to be people that speak Kikong. Why well, you love Welcome back. I am doing Angolan tag. Back when I came to America, like even the devil had to pray to come to America because that's how hard it was. Every African I would see were either from Congo or from um, Nigeria. Months ago, I was on YouTube and looking for Angolan tags. I didn't see any. And when you check Nigerian tag, Ghanaian tag, Ethiopian tag, everybody have it, but not Angolan. Why are we so... Angolan never, go, Angola never goes viral. I think Angola went viral when Miss Universe, I think 2011, Leila Lopez, years ago, when Bella, the Bella, 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 that song came out. Yeah, the other one was, it's a South African song. Angola is dance to it. Three stuff, what else? Nothing. Angola needs to wake up, get to the tag. I never went back to Angola ever since I've been here. But someday I'm going to, definitely, I have to go when back. When I left Angola, it was when. Tokala, 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 I think it was by Fofando and that's how long it has been. Favorite dish? I don't think so. I have not been around Angolans in many, many years. And I do remember Mufet, um, Salada, Bolo, Cadelada, Cadelada. <laughs> what else do I remember? Luanda is the capital city of Angola. I moved to Luanda when I was like three four years old no for the deputado. um we moved to hotel panorama and then we moved to villa leaf it's yummy after men uh his balcongos were hello and uh, also Alison, Alison Pachon, um uh, something is hell i forgot his other name i think just yeah damn i think that's yeah i don't really 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 listen to our music because our good music or music of the world and a Christian music is kind of, it's starting to get better. So gospel music that I listen to usually from America, Nigeria, or Congo. Yeah, because it's, if you know, you know. If you don't, I'm sorry. Uh, we don't really have it. I don't have it. I think it's just this shirt I got from, I got it online. And my necklace. And the food that we eat, we get it from African stores. Uh, yes, I still speak the language. Portuguese is the official language in Angola. I believe we have we have 18 provinces, and each province has its own dialect. Some are similar, some are different. Uh, for you to speak Portuguese fluently, you have to go to school. It means you're educated. But then we all have our own languages, and mine is Kikongo. I am Mukongo, it's the tribe. I only speak if I need to. If I'm going to jail and I'm in Banza Congo, it's gonna come out. Uh, but Portuguese, my Portuguese sucks. It's really bad. When I speak it around people that do not speak it, I speak with pride. But when I'm around Angolans, I'm like, then we're in America. People think that I'm Afro Latina porque hablo portugués. No, no soy Afro Latina. I am not Latina. I soy Angolana. Ghanaians are my favorite. No, one of my favorite African countries. I love the music. I love their dance. They look like they had surgery from heaven. Like they're just the body structure, everything. What I remember, Angolans are very clean. No matter how poor they are, they could be eating something so small, solid, with knife and fork. Yes, Angola. I like how thin they are. I like. I love my country. Like I like how we have beautiful prayas. Our language is beautiful. We have beautiful hair, and I like the kuduru, which is the dance. I like izomba. I, I like the pride. I'm a Caesar, okay? What I do not like about Angola, we can be very ignorant. I'm going to give an example. So, like, I'm Angolan, and I don't look like the typical Angolan because of my face structure. I look more like a Congolese, according to them. If I go to Angola, or if a freshly Angolan comes to America, if they look at me, they're going to think that I'm one of those that went to Angola for better life and I changed my documents to become Angolan or whatever. That's just how ignorant we are. And if you're from Banza Congo or if you're from Wish uh, or Kabinda, we speak in Congo, those three provinces. And we also understand Lingala. Lingala is from Congo, from a different country. That country is for Angolans, they're like low class, they're poor, they eat with their hands, 
they bleach like Angolios. Like, is that stereotype? I had to to prove that I'm Angolian. I had to show my passport. And they were like, no, no, mentira. Now is that Angolana, Swalanga, all this stuff, calling me names that I'm Congolese, I'm not Angolan because of my body curves and because of my face and because of the wigs and the makeup. Back when, when I left Angola, we're not really into makeup. Congolese wear the makeup and all the extra stuff, the bleaching, the thickness, and all that stuff. But we don't really have an um, African name. To have an African name, African name. Like you have to be from like the village. We have like different traditional names. Okay, my aunt's name is Matondo. Thank you. Thank you, God. Matondo. But we really don't. Our names are European. It was, I'm Cesar. My sister is Maria Cesar. My mom is Rosa da Silva. And we have Paulo. My son is Paulo, which is Paul. The Portuguese came and changed everything. Leave our names alone. But it's too late. Yeah. Depois me diz que é zazar Também me diz que é zaicô E agora é lagalangar